Welcome everyone to Smart Up Travel. I am Ifeani. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're far too kind. Thank you. Welcome to Smart Up Travel. If you're new here, I am live at the Barbican Centre here in uh, London and it's in, located near Moorgate train station and that's on the Hammersmith and City line. If you're new to the channel, I am Ifeani. Now this conservatory is very unique because despite all the big buildings, sky rise buildings in the area, you still get to have this garden located in the heart of the city and you can observe amazing plants. It's actually free to get in and you can come and observe various plants right, from various countries in the world which has all been planted here for people to just come and have a look free of charge. So if you're looking to get away from the hustle and bustle of the street life, definitely the Barbican Conservatory located in the Barbican Center will be a good option for you and it's free of charge, you can book online. I'll be leaving a link below this video that if you are interested in visiting, you can book online free of charge. Wow. Let's see what plant this is. Now this is from the tropics, right? Acacia plant. And you can see the scientific name is there. It's beautiful. Wow, look at that. Look at that. And one of the unique things is when you come to places like London, you, one of the first thing you'll notice, of course, there's a lot of houses, right? High rise buildings. And for those who may like a tropical environment and like to see plants and different things like that, this is one of the places where you can definitely come and see plants from different parts of the world amazing oh my gosh look at this now it's kind of rainy here today in London but despite that I still came out and I feel like I'm in the Caribbean or somewhere on the continent of Africa and or even in the Mediterranean one of the islands there now marvel at this guys wow Make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe if you want more content like this and many more. Smash that subscription button right below this video. That's where you check in when you come here. They scan your ticket. Whoa, let's go up. Beautiful. Let's see what else this place has to offer. So it's literally a one-way system, so you'll know where you're going. You can see this sign right here that says, you know, conservatory continues this way. So let's go this way. amazing plants I could see a fig tree down there and guys if you if you have a closer look you can see that down there 
There is like a little pond with water gushing out from the bottom. Ain't that beautiful? We're gonna go down there and have a closer look. Now, if you've been to places like um, Kew Gardens or even Cornwall, right? They have places like this, Indo Conservatory or Indo Gardens with exotic plants from various parts of the world. So they really try to give this an, a, it an authentic look here. See so you got plants hanging off the walls. And look, it's blossoming. Look at this. Oh wow, it's beautiful. is a palm tree it's in its very infant stages and this one is coming from I believe Mexico yeah. Wow I'm walking through a maze here guys I'm telling you, the, the beauty of this place is absolutely stunning. And if you can see the ground, with that mud it has here, it gives you a real authentic feel. Almost like you're on holiday somewhere else. What's unique about this place, despite you know the whole corona situation we've been having, you're still allowed to come out here. Of course, you'll need to wear your mask when you come, and that's it. You're allowed to come and enjoy this amazing Garden of Eden. I call it a Garden of Eden because honestly, it has some amazing plants here. Some plants that you don't usually see on a regular basis here in the UK. see right there this banana tree if you're not used to seeing one you can come to the Barbican Center and get a close first-hand account of what a banana tree actually looks like now for people who are not from tropical environments you might be used to seeing your banana in the supermarket but if you want to know what the tree looks like you can see that at the Barbican Center 
Now, if you can see where I'm pointing right there, that signs of a little bananas trying to come forward, but it's not much. All right. Let's see what this place, or what else this place has to offer. Now, today, it's a little bit cloudy here in London, so I'll recommend coming here more on a hot day because if you come on a hot day you'll get to really see the light that comes through these glass ceiling here and shining down on the plants so it will definitely be more of a beautiful atmosphere especially with the sunlight nevertheless the place is still wonderful to come and see the plants most definitely In the event that you would like to visit this place, you may be wondering how can you get to the Barbican Conservatory. For me, I got there via train. From Paddington Station in London, I got the Hammersmith and City Line straight to Moorgate. At Moorgate, it's literally a five-minute walk. Key points of interest is the Guildhall School of Music and Drama, and the Barbican Centre is right next door where you will find the Barbican Conservatory. Thank you for watching Smart Top Travel. Do remember to like, share our videos and subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Thank you.